Hey, fatso. Lard ass. Hey, look, it's thunder thighs. I was eight years old the first time I took my shirt off in the boys' locker room. I stood there in my tidy whities with my fat rolls hanging over the waistband. And over in the corner, there was a couple boys who were just pointing and laughing at me. And inside of me bubbled this mixture of rage and embarrassment. And it bubbled up through my chest and almost out my eyes. But I knew that boys don't cry. So I held it all in until I got home. And then I let it all out. And I would just stare in the mirror and I would cry. I could see the bright red stretch marks on my love handles. I knew that that was a sign that my body didn't fit in. I just didn't look like the other kids. And up on my wall, I had this picture of the Incredible Hulk. And the Hulk was incredible because he was just a normal guy most of the time. But when his emotions got all bubbled up, his muscles popped out and he got strong and powerful. And I thought, well, that'd be cool if it ever happened to me, but it didn't. So instead, I just covered myself up. I didn't want anyone to see my body and I didn't want anyone to know how I felt inside. And I stayed the fat kid up until the age of 15. And then at 15, well, my hormones started going crazy. And all my guy friends were losing their virginity. One by one, they were getting to the end zone. And me, I was stuck in the friend zone. I wanted a girlfriend so bad. But I knew I would have to change my body. So I started working out and lifting weights. And 12 months later, I completely transformed myself. I lost 85 pounds. And wouldn't you know it, along came Charlotte. Charlotte was my first real girlfriend. Oh, I was so in love. I was the smitten kitten. And the big night finally rolled around. I wanted it to be perfect. So, put on a nice cologne. I had minty fresh breath. And I laid out a nice warm fuzzy blanket in the backseat of my parents' Ford Explorer. <laughs> oh yeah, it was the shagged wagon, baby. The windows were fogging up, the clothes were coming off. But guess what stayed on? Well, the condom, the condom stayed on. That was good, that was good. <laughs> but so did my shirt. Even with the first girl that I said I love you to, I covered up. You see, I was so embarrassed. After all that weight loss, I had all this loose skin around my stomach. So I went and got a procedure done that no man wants to stand on a stage and talk about. I got a tummy tuck. They cut four pounds of loose skin off my body, and I didn't stop there. See, I always wanted to look like that image of the Incredible Hulk. So I hired a bodybuilding coach, and I entered a bodybuilding show. Yeah, me, the fat kid. I started lifting weights and drinking protein shakes until the morning of the show rolled around. And that's when I went back to the mirror and finally, finally, I saw the image that I had always wanted to see. I had ripped abs and bulging biceps. I looked incredible, like the Hulk. And as I pumped myself up backstage, I thought, I wish those bullies could see me now. And then they called my name and I strutted out onto that stage, this time no tidy whities and I hit my first pose, and I looked out into the crowd, and that's when everything just went blank. And it was like I was transported right back to that locker room. It was all a big lie. I had changed everything on the outside, and still somehow on the inside, I felt like that little eight-year-old boy, just so worried that somebody was gonna say, hey, fatso, you don't belong up there. And in my journey from fat to fit, as my body's evolved through all these different versions of myself, here's what I've learned. Real strength, real strength comes when we face our fears of judgment and criticism. Real strength comes when we can be our most authentic selves. Real strength comes when we can be vulnerable. Hey men, men, did you hear me? 
Vulnerability, it's a superpower. So don't cover up who you really are on the inside or the outside. Because I'll bet right now, the version of you that's here with me today, you are already pretty damn incredible. <laughs>